Welcome back, everyone. It's time to see how bad Dan has fucked us. Are we rolling <laughs> hey, initiative? Some, have some sympathy for the devil. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's roll initiative. Okay. I just happen to be right next to him, too. That's fun. Great. I rolled a one. Plus two. Good stuff. Four. That means I won't be able to get a single attack in. <laughs> I think yeah, if, I'll, I mean if you take if you take one yeah. damage, you'll switch back to your, your other form, right? Yeah, I'll probably just be incapacitated if I get hit. Now, these things don't necessarily hit that hard, but we'll find out. I have, uh, I have two damage in caster or two HP in caster form. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Adam, you I think I'm gonna attack them. them. Yeah, the, the creature at your feet begins to, like it raises up and like lunges for your throat. And I hate it for doing that. You should. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like cool. that. Okay. okay. Slash out. Ten. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hit it. Yeah. I, God, I was hoping they were. God, like, I could have killed all these things in one fucking um, attack. Actually, hold hold on. Um, no, 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 I already rolled damage. They don't have the, it's okay. You can. I'll let you hit on this one. But they they're not. They wouldn't normally have the normal AC that these kind of things would because they are wearing the remnants of the last guy's armor. But I'm gonna say they're damaged. So let me adjust their AC. You can have this one for free because I said you could. Uh huh. Um, but everybody else is he dead? Adjust. Kidding me? If I could, seven they could be little, little basic bitch ones. They just came, um, from, you know. So you you lash out uh, and and yeah, like cut through uh, through its chest. Blood splatters, um, but it doesn't seem to even notice. Just cuts through it. Right. Oh, doesn't doesn't care. Um, the two nearest to you uh, lunge to to attack you. That's uh, where I go down. So. They stand. The one that was uh, nope. not already up stands, and then the other one who was uh, already standing. Yep. What do you got? Uh, hits you for uh, five. What else? Are you full HP? Uh, no, I'm at eight. No. And then uh, Wait, one of them. Are they? Does your rage recharge? I'm at three right. now. What was that, Dan? Uh, does your rage charge on a short rest? I think so. I already used it, didn't I? In the last fight. Yeah, the fight ended, so your rage stopped. You didn't attack a target for six Actually, seconds. Did I rage? You didn't rage oh, this round. Right right uh, you talked about it, but I don't know. If I don't you... know that I actually did. I'm not even trying to like like bullshit. No, I just no, can't no, remember no. if I actually raged. I'm rage. looking to see if you hit at all in the last fight. I think you hit like once. Well, it's not. It's not about hitting. It's about. Uh... No, no, I know. I'm just trying to think of how much damage you dealt uh, in the last thing. Uh, yeah. No, you didn't. I don't think you I did. didn't rage. Okay, so you want to you want to have bonus you want bonus action rage. Yes. Actually, your, your turn has passed. So next turn you can. Yeah, next you, turn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay, so let me finish this uh, zombie. So the uh, zombie attacks uh, the hyena. Oh, that's a, a miss. Nine. So he slams a uh, slams a decaying fist into uh, into your. I guess they're not even like rotting yet. So he just punches your your hide, um, but doesn't uh, doesn't hurt you. Um, this one goes over to the blacksmith. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, hits him. And let's see. Uh, doesn't kill him. Uh, he's just screaming in terror now. Uh, like he's he's even more afraid of these things than he was of you. Um, but uh, yeah, he's still alive. <clears throat> uh, Ramus, it is your turn. Ramus, All right. can he uh, heal? Can can they? Hmm? I don't know. I got one thing left. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will. I will sacred flame on the one to the north of the hyena. The one, okay. one up, up here. Yeah. All right. So sacred flame for seven. Okay. Um. Sorry. Wrong save. Yeah. Oh. Again. Oh. They're terrible. Their saves are way worse than that. Ooh. Okay. There you go. Does that kill him? Does it take double no. damage or something? No, no. It does him seven damage. Uh, cool. Yeah, you, you scorch him with the, the power of the sun, uh, and he, he seems annoyed at that. And he turns to look at you, and his burned-out eyes. And the, the fire, like, in their, their eye sockets, is starting to, like, peel the flesh around their eyes. It's, like, slowly, like, burning away their face. Um, and he just turns to look at you uh, hatefully. Uh, and uh, giant hyena Gideon, you can go. Nah, I hmm. I only have I have entangle and fairy fire left, so I can't use healing word as a bonus action. While well, is that, and you I can, can expend a spell slot to heal when uh, <clears throat> beast form, right? Is that what it is? There, there's some. 
I think yeah. a lot. So you you would uh, if you have any spell slots, you can expend one to basically in this exact situation to stay in hyena form. And is that bonus? Uh, let me let, let me, me let me look. I should have that. Yeah. Okay. I, we just never use that. Uh, yep. It's part of your circle of the whatever uh, ability. Uh, circle of the moon. Bonus action, expend one spell slot to... Re oh, fuck yeah, it's a bonus action for 1d8 per level of the spell slot expended. Yep, so you get you can get a d8 if you have a first level spell slot you can spend. Yeah, we're using that. We have two, so... I should have been using that fucking last turn, I didn't know. Uh, I'll just heal or roll d8. Three, that's better than nothing. Yep. I'm at four now. Uh, and it's then four. I'll also attack the one that was just attacked. Okay, sure. Uh, Twelve? Uh, 12 is not enough to hit him, no. Fucking Christ. So yeah, jaws snap shut uh, on uh, on its armor, and you shake your arm around, or your head around, and doesn't doesn't, like, you hear bones break, but it doesn't hurt it. Um, Berg, it is, uh, it is your turn. I'm gonna try to kill that fucker again. Uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead, Rob. Uh, you wanna rage first? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I thought that was assumed. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm in a rage. We, but yes. <laughs> uh, you do hit with that 17, though. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Bam. Okay. All yeah. right. So you you lash out. Uh, your your arm is uh, uh, driven by your uh, driving by your your attack, and it yeah just cuts its stomach open. Like you just peel the armor apart and just that's just pour out uh, on the ground. Nice. Um, and you, I guess, also. Um, and then they attack. Um, so that one's going to attack you when you just attacked. So but he ain't dead. I slam you. No, he's not dead. What the fuck? Slams you for two. So you have a I'm punch. Bad. And then giant hyena Gideon. <clears throat> Live to fight another day. Yeah, no hits. Nice. Um, and then the peasant guy. He's dead. Yeah, it gets hit. He's, yeah, he dies. He's totally dead. Um, Cool. Right, rip peasant. Oh fuck. Yeah. Uh, so these turn? things they're not they're not like zombies in that like it doesn't like grab and bite him and start eating him. It just like snaps his neck, his body falls to the ground, and then he, it looks towards the hyena and then it moves to, to come over here. Uh Ramus, your turn. All right, I'll hit the same one with uh Sacred Flame again. Okay, and this was the the one that was attacking um Yeah, the one the northmost one. Nice. Okay. Woo. Definite, yeah. definite fail on that uh, for three damage. Negative one. All right. Gideon? Yep. I'm going to strike at the uh, one that's hurt or been hurt, rather. 25. That's a crit. Oh, nice. Ooh. 18 damage. He's fine. Okay. And this is the one that, that uh, Ramus was fighting, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, whichever okay. one's taking damage. You kill him. Go ahead and make your, ahead and make your rampage back if you want. 13, that's a mess. Okay. Oh, I've also used D8 before the round ends to heal for the final spell slot. Okay, yeah, that, that 13's a hit. Oh, um, it but is. You, you can't do both. You can't rampage and heal, so you've already you've already rolled the attack, so you got to Oh, heal. okay, that's true. So just, just deal your damage to the second one. Eight. Okay. All right, So because that, that was your bonus action. Right. All right. Um, all right. Berg? Berg's going to still try to kill this guy. You can do it, Berg. I believe in you, sort of. Here we go. Ma. Good shit. Okay, it's a nine. That is not that is not sufficient to hit the, the thing. No, no, it is not. Um all right. Uh hyena, you get attacked. And That's a miss. A miss, yeah. They're not having much luck. Uh the two undead will attack uh, I think one more will attack the hyena, and then one will attack Berg. Yeah. Ah oh, nice. And then throw me some of that. Or not. Oh, no. <laughs> or not. Oh, and then you get crit. All right, Berg. Oh, no. Take, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Like, you Your thing I'd go six, down, six, but six, six, no. It, it's half damage. Rage, so it's half damage. So. Yeah, and also, uh, yeah. were you? what was your HP you before I that? One, just because I, well, I was at one. Does it oh, okay. not apply when I'm at one? So you're at one. You get hit. You want to activate your half-orc staying at one thing? Yeah, of course. Okay. So the thing, yeah, it, like, lunges for you, grabs you on the throat, like, squeezes, and you can feel, like, you're yourself getting choked. You don't drop your weapon, but you start to stagger. And uh, it's like bail for green eyes just bore into your soul. And um, I want to ask you before you're, because you, you do die technically, and then you, sure. you get your hit point back. Um, 
what so okay you were you were raised uh were you raised among like humans or dwarves like what where's where's berg what's your culture um berg i actually have to consult my my sheet it's been a while since i've even thought about that yeah yeah um berg was basically kind of uh he was raised amongst i believe he was raised amongst humans and uh another uh what's it called what the fuck are they called as humans in another race. Dwarves? Uh, yeah, dwarves. There you go. Right. Right. <laughs> I couldn't think of the fucking... They, they enslaved him uh, as... So for, a, so for humans, for humans, they're, you know, die, dying is a thing that, like, you were taught, like, it's yeah. natural, it will happen. But there was an old, like, an old dwarf woman uh, who who once, you overheard her telling a story. She probably didn't tell it to you. She's telling, like, some dwarf kids. But she uh, she told a story about a... There's this figure, um, uh, the, the shadow in the depths. It translates into some, like, dwarvish word that if you're killed by a demon, uh, the shadow claims your soul and, and drags you into this pit deep beneath the earth uh, where you are, um, you know, you're imprisoned for, for all of time. And I think when this thing is like strangling you and you, you see its eyes pointing to you, you hear that old woman's voice in your ear. Like you haven't thought of her in, in years and you just hear her like whispering to you, like, uh, you know, you know, better, better, better stay alive, better not die or it's the pit for you, Berg. And, and you like, feel that like in the back of your head. Um, but it's your rage that keeps you alive. So what, like, what does that look like? Your, your like sudden burst of anger that keeps you from, from dying. Yeah. As I think as Berg's like, you know, basically dying, he's like falling down to the ground slightly, like his knees are starting to buckle and he's they, they hit the ground and his head slumps down just a little bit. And as you're saying, he hears that in his head. And it's almost like a dream state for him. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. not fully there. He has no idea what's going on, but he just hears that echoing like almost down like a tunnel. And then uh, as he hears that, it just, the, the, her voice just irritates the shit out of him in this dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in his dream, he's just, he's, he's like running. He, he gets up, he starts running and like is about to attack this lady, this voice. And yeah. right at that moment when it's about to make contact, he gets up and just, and just like gets right back up. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you burst, you burst up from the ground, throw its arms off of your, uh, off of your throat yeah. and uh, yeah, and, and stay alive. Uh, so Ramus, uh, it is your, uh, it's your turn. All right. Ramus will cast sacred flame at the one that, uh, oh, if you, if, if you don't already have it, uh, Berg, take, uh, take inspiration. Yay. Um, okay. Sorry. Uh, Ramus, you were, you were I'll cast sacred flame at the one that he hit really hard. That okay. one that's weakened. Uh, cool. Um, two, two damage. All right. Um, you should also have inspiration for your trying to bullshit earlier. Yeah. this whole situation is your fault and thank you for that <laughs> okay uh he's a zombo so oh he's right saved. and just to, so he's leaping back from berg the thing like slides back and like pff, the light blasts down on the ground in front of him uh gideon uh i will let's see has this one been hurt whichever one's been hurt i will take it a bite at uh yeah they've all i think they've all been yeah, except for that, the bottom one. So, yes, the one in front of you. Whichever one's hit. taking the most right. damage. Yep, yeah, go for that one. Another crit. Nice. All right. Nice. Do your damage. I like it. I like 12. it. Uh, all right. Almost. I think you like you rip a limb off. Like, you rip an arm off and blood, and you just got it in your arm, in your mouth. Uh, all and right. You... I was going to heal anyways. That's fine. I'm at, okay. I'm at eight. Cool. Do you eat the arm? Yes, that's how I, re that's how I <laughs> regain my HP. Tear some flesh off of it and swallow it. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay, Berg. Uh, Berg uh, it's goes yet again. <sighs> you ready? It's two crits uh, in a row. That's pretty, pretty good. Uh, please. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you hit. Roll damage. Seven. And deal uh, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if you kill the thing. He's raging though, right? Yeah, he's raged. Seven. Oh, all right, so seven. Okay, so... Uh, DC 12 constitution check. Nope. Doesn't die. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you just like shove your sword into the thing's chest. You can feel the dense meat of its heart get punctured by the sword, yank it out, and just like wisps of uh, green mist come out of the hole instead of blood. Um, just try so hard. The creature counterattacks. Take a swing at you. Let's see if we can finish this job, the Berg job here. No, he misses. Um, let's try again. One more attack on Berg. Uh, 14. 
Is that so a miss? Yep, what is a miss? I have an AC of 17. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Um, and then the uh, the last one. Uh, Goes for Berg. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> take, a, uh, take a swing at you. And this this is for the hyena. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay. And let's see if you can knock you out. You've been regaining. Nope. Two damage. All right. Ramus. Uh, I will hit the one that that he, I saw him just hit last turn, and I can tell it's weak. So okay. casting. Yeah, the one Berg is the one Berg's chopping to pieces. Yeah, the one he keeps wailing on. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he, you toast him. So the uh, yeah the the brilliant light of the sun uh, penetrates the green mist pouring off this thing, hits it, and it just burns away and, and vanishes. Yep. Uh, my turn. I believe it is, unless unless you want to move. Um, I mean, I'll just incur an attack of opportunity. I mean, Ramus. It's oh, yeah, oh, if, oh, oh. if he wants to. Yeah, I'm, I'm good for I am. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's the roll. 22. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a hit. 13. Oh, yeah. 13 damage. Okay. Um, so you do reduce it to zero. Um, let me see if it stays dead. Probably does. I need 18 or better. Nope. It's 21. Okay. So you did reduce it to zero. So you did. You do get to use your bonus action. Do you want to heal this turn or do you want to make another attack? I don't have any you spell attack. slots. So you can attack it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm attacking it again because I don't have any uh, spell <laughs> slots left. All right. So this thing is just becoming hamburger. You're just like ripping chunks <laughs> off yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and hey, it won't, uh... I miss. Okay, all right. Uh, Berg. Yeah, Berg's gonna attack. <laughs> that sounds satisfactory for you guys. <laughs> it's good, yeah. It's flailing, oh, flailing it's and rocking. Uh, that okay. is a hit, right? That is a hit, yep. Now, this is the uninjured one. This is one at the back, so. Okay, eight, eight damage. damage. Yeah. You lay into them. All right, one attack each for the uh, um, for the hyena. How is one. he attacking me with the ripped off arms? He's got another arm. Is it's he, fine. Is he just Head kicking buddy. me? Is he just kicking me? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound, JP. Okay. Uh, you take six damage. Uh, all right, I'm in caster form. And that, that drops you back you into... You rolled max uh, damage on a... D oh, no, you got a plus one. Never mind. He kicks you real hard. Yeah, I'm uh, back to caster. Okay, so I'll switch, uh, I'll switch you in. There's your token. Let me take the hyena away. Let's put him over here with the tiger. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll change out your initiative. You can be in any of the four squares you were occupying, so feel free to put yourself anywhere. Yep, we're uh, going to use that square right there. <laughs> yep. Okay, good call. Does his transformation freak out the undead at all? Probably not. What, what was your... Sorry, what did you get for initiative? Do you remember? Was it 11? Uh, it was a 16, wasn't it? I could scroll up and find it. Yeah, okay, if you can just find it for me. Um, I will make the other zombie attack. This is the one on Berg. I can't see them all, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, it's a four. He doesn't hit you. Uh, okay, uh, Ramus. I will uh, hit the one that the hyena just hit and nearly killed with the uh, Sacred Flame. Seven, nine. Hey, yeah, all right. Let's see if, uh, see if he dodges. If he doesn't dodge, he's incinerated. Hup. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Extra zombie. You can't get me. <sighs> All right. Um, Berg. Berg's going in. You're doing great at one hit point here, Berg. Listen. You're going to show that dwarf lady who's boss. She's dead already. That's She's all. That's just, that's all. That's, that's motivating. Him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you had to take the wind out of my sails, Adam. <laughs> I can swing your sword around in the air. Great. Yeah. Not so much. Do you want to move, Berg, or are you good? Just uh, yeah, I think yeah. So you get a no. He'll he'll get an attack of opportunity on you if you move. Oh yeah, you're right. Man. Stop trying to bait me into that yeah, shit. That was a trick question oh, from Gideon. Adam. I always got to check to make sure turns over. Okay, Gideon. Uh, I would like to heal Berg with my healer's kit because I haven't done that today. Have I? Uh, you've done it today, but not since the last short rest. So. So I'm good to heal or no? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. All you, like, need is, you need, all you need like, is a what short, does that mean? All you need is a short rest in between. All right. Let's see. Okay. Double, double check before you use it. Yeah, let me know. No. I, I didn't think it was. Short rest. Short or long. All right. Cool. 10 HP. Berg's back in action. Nice. He what the fuck? Very nice. All right. Uh, and then there. I will also move back here to Gideon. Or to okay. Bramus. Sorry. Not to Bramus. myself. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, you move to Gideon, but wherever you go, there's Gideon. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, so the Zombos, they're going to um, 
This one's going to chase you, I think. Let's see if he can get to you. He can't. No, he's just going to go after Berg then. Like uh -huh. you and he's your... running patterns. He's a football player. Like you and your, tw your 20 movement speed, stupid zombie. All right, so the first one tries to hit you, can't. The second one, same thing. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, like, actually, and they're, they're not even saying anything. They're just trying to, like, hit you. And, and Berg's just and laughing because he feels real good about being smothered with shit. Yep. <laughs> so uh it is ramus's turn ramus what are you gonna do i i get the point i am sorry i won't <laughs> do it again could you please help us with these things please i am sorry i will never involve you again all right then i kill sacred flame on the one that's nearly dead okay yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Uh, nope, you miss. God has not forgiven you. <laughs> uh, Ber Berg? Yep. What are you gonna do, Berg? Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you hit him. No problem. Whop. So, nine. Let's see if I can make that save. Difficulty's 14. Motherfucker, Jeez. Adam! I can roll double 21s, too. <laughs> Look at me. I'm Max. <laughs> right. Yeah. So no, just like stabbing and just nothing. Just <laughs> going, going go down. Um, Gideon. I'm trying. I didn't heal myself last time, right? Because you we, have not used a healer's just, kit on. Yeah, we decided not so. to. So here, here's a question for the group: Should mm -hmm. I just try to kill this thing with the shillelagh, or should I heal myself? Heal yourself because you're no. like 100 HP, right? Yeah, I'm at two right now. Oh, no. Yeah, I would heal yourself. All right, I'll heal myself okay. for nine damage. Okay. So there, so use up. How many more healer kit things do you have? Like 21. Oh, yeah, you got lots. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Berg, the, the Mara will have you yet, but not on that roll. <laughs> nope. Nope. Just <laughs> I'm trying to pummel you. Uh, Ramus. All right. Uh, in order to further atone for my error, uh, Ramus will put himself in danger by moving up next to them okay. as a sacrifice. To, um, and then I'll cast Sacred Flame at the one again. Okay, sure. For one damage. Yeah. Doesn't matter, that's Get all it needs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I miss, that's all you need. Um, oh, a zero. Oh, yeah. There it is, okay. Yeah, incinerated. Damn. The light of the sun oh. emerges in the dark night and... Uh, disappears that creature and i shout a ton at the other one to, to tell him to come fuck with me <laughs> okay um, oh no i did use a healer's kit when we rested didn't i you used it after you rested yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's right on yeah. yourself because you, yeah because no and actually berg you you're still at one hit point because doesn't matter they haven't hit me you couldn't have healer kit either of them doesn't matter they haven't hit me Wait, why couldn't I have healer kit a bird? Because didn't you didn't you use one on him too? Or oh, I, no, no, Max, I used Max, it during no, the fight. No, Max, yeah, you're fine. No, 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 yeah. I you hit dice. Yeah, I'm at two fine. HP. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, it was just one. Yeah, I, I knew Max had gained hit points, but I, I bird had gained hit points. Hit hit die. Die. We were going to do the healing thing, but I said I have the hit dice, so why might as well use it? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, it. do the thing. Let's do the thing. I dare you. Nice. Roll damage. Right. Bah. Oh. So thirteen. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, not quite dead, but get, getting there. Uh, Gideon, uh, your two friends are locked in combat with this creature. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do from ranged. I don't think there is, though. How much damage would an iron pot do? <laughs> <laughs> improvise, improvise weapon do a d6 damage. Oh, wait, no. Remember what's in there. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Don't, don't. don't. <laughs> We put that fucking Round rock. Three. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, improvised weapons do uh, 1d4 damage. Yeah. Just throw a rock. Do you have a crossbow or anything? No, I should probably get some, some range stuff. Throw a, 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 a poignant insult. You, you, could pick up a, you could pick up a rock off the ground and throw it. It'd be 1d4 damage. Let's do it. I'm throwing the fucking rock. Why not? Yeah, do okay. it. So uh, roll... Uh, Take 20 plus roll, dex? Yeah, just your dex. You don't, you're not proficient in throwing rocks. So. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you throw it at him and you just miss. It just goes over his head. You hit the horse. Aw. Yeah, the horse is like, sorry. Like, I'm sorry, horse. Horse is like, what the, the fuck, <laughs> man? Man, he looks over his shoulder like, sitting here waiting to do my job. Yep. Dick right. throws a rock at me. 
So this last, this last creature, um, all of the other, the others are dead. Uh, it, it looks at you, uh, Ramus. It looks over the body. The other one looks at you, and um, to everybody else, it's unless you, no one, no one in the party speaks Infernal, right? No, no. I just so, so happened to. And I'm just kidding. You, everybody else hears Infernal, which is a language that is not pleasant to hear. Like you, it's like nails on a chalkboard, like screeching kind of sounds. But mm. Ramus, you understand. Over, I guess, under the sound, you can hear. And yeah, the horse is freaking out. Um, you, uh, you, it looks at you, um, and uh, it's it says without moving its like moving its mouth, it just opens its mouth. This green light is coming out. You hear in your head, um, uh, it says, uh, "See how little your gods care for you. Your world is doomed, doomed, cleric. I will see you in hell." And it it punches its fingers into its chest, and we hear this cracking sound as it like breaks its rib cage open, and as its guts pour out, uh, there's this blinding flash of green light. I need uh, all three of you to make a um, Constitution save, please. Yeah. Had to. Sorry. Uh, the DC is uh, DC is thirteen. What am I doing right now? Constitution save. Yeah. Con save. Fucking Mara. We're good. Let's see how Bird goes. Uh, okay. Constitution save. Let's do it. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's see how we do here. Uh, anybody who makes the save. Yeah. Okay. I'll three, you, I'll three you make the save. So you you only take half damage as the uh, as the zombie explodes. Um, there you go. So, people who made the save, all three of you, you take 10 damage. Or I guess, uh, 9. 10? You take 9 damage. Well, I'm dead. You take 19. Am otherwise. I still in a rage, or is it expired? Uh, it's necrotic damage, so it doesn't, your rage doesn't count. So I take 9? Uh, say? yeah, you, you take, yeah, you take half. Dan, are you still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. Alright, we're good. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I have one hit point, right? Because I was at, no, 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 two. Two hit points. Yeah, you have two. You're eleven. So just yeah, it just burn, it rips its chest open. The body falls backwards as the like this green flash. Fucking necrotic martyrdom um, bullshit. Yeah, and like like all of you have like signs of uh, like advanced decay. Like your your um fingertips uh, are like kind of blackened, and like the skin is starting to peel. Um, like around your eyes is like bruised. Um, like your cells all just like started to die. Um, the horse is definitely dead. The horse dies instantly, and, like falls over. God and you look at it. If you if you look at it like you can see it it falls over and we, we get a, sh a tight shot of it and it's like um if you've ever seen like that you know the beginning of True Blood where the fox is like that shot of the fox disintegrating over time it's like that it just like comes apart and like molders until it's just bones and like goo and, and mold um yeah and uh, Gideon is uh, you're dead or unconscious I'm unconscious I'm not dead it only did what ten or no yes. it did nine nine. Yeah, yes. I'm at, uh, I was at two, so I'm at negative, whatever, negative seven. Okay. I will uh, stabilize both of them with medicine. Why are you stabilizing me? I'm fine. Oh, you're still alive? <laughs> I know. That's perfect. No. He just comes over to you and starts bad you. You're like, I'm fine. I'm stable. I'm fine. Berg's really like, are you, you okay, Berg? Are you okay? I, I thought you had a boo boo. I'm sorry. Okay, so 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 here's the thing: because you are still in danger, and there is a chance of you of you failing this roll, um, Ramus, can you make a medicine check to to attend? Now, alternately, you can just use Gideon's kit, use a, a use of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Use use. Uh, use. Can we, can yeah, I'll just use the use of his uh, healing kit just okay. to make sure. Uh, cool. So you mark off a kit. You're stable. You're fine, Gideon. Uh, is that, roll you a, said the horse is like goo at this point. Is a so it can't come back as a goo monster. Uh, anything's possible. This is a role playing game. Um, but uh, yeah, Gideon, you're stable. Can you roll a d4? See how long you it takes for you to. I like how two fights in a row now. After you <laughs> yeah. fucking carried it's out. It's really bad for you. Yeah. And, and the two, first fight you went down yeah. for like the first two times, remember? Dude, I, I tanked over 100 damage though in this fight. So. Oh, yeah. That, your yeah, wild shape is. You were, you were wild, wild shape is highly survived. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. I'm All right. So. Food. I gave you your XP for the other thing. I just want to make sure I write this down. So you killed one scout. Uh, you killed three guards. You killed one apprentice. And you killed four Zambonis. Okay, good. And the, the, the blacksmith dude died and the horse. Yeah, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. That's what so happens fun. when a fucking cleric runs his mouth, man. What did we learn? Hey, when have I ever held my tongue? 
I like I like your your attitude towards this. Is like if you can't handle me in my most blasphemous, I, you don't deserve me in my I'm most. Having this argument with the, the, the unconscious corpse too, because I'm just imagining what he's saying. I'm like you, know, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I guess, uh, Bert, you should find the bracelet if, that's on the the body in there, and we need to get out of here. I love the fact that we're making Max go to his other dead character. <laughs> And get an item from it to collect for our group. I just love that. I just want to point that out. I'm going to go back to being dead. Berg doesn't give a fuck who this person is. He doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. So, Berg, you've, you've never seen uh, Wester before. You, like, pull the, the wrapping off. And, yeah, you see the, the grayish skin of the half-orc hand. Uh, some several days dead now. Uh, a bracer like yours. It's like staring into a mirror. You see the, the, the arm of this dead man uh, wearing a, a slave bracer like yourself. Berg takes a moment. Like, looks at it, looks at him, goes, <laughs> Sure. Just yeah. goes to work. Not a, not a poignant moment for you. Um, some, some people might think at this point that this is the only death a slave gets, and that as long as you're a slave, you'll never die a noble death. But you're like, yeah, fuck it. Hack yeah. the arm off. All right, cool. <laughs> so you have two more, you have two of these, uh, these slave bracers in your, um, uh, in your, your uh, equipment now. Um, covered one covered in half orc blood, uh, one not. Um, there's a dead horse. There's a wagon tipped over and broken. Uh, we'll also, I'll loot the the the, the bodies of the guards. The guards still the, loot on them. The scout, yeah. Um, I don't think they were carrying money on them when they like went out here on this thing. But I, actually, no, that's not true. They're going to the monastery. They would have money for sure. Um, and actually, there's probably like a few other things on the um. A few other things on the uh, on the cart too, right? Because they wouldn't it wouldn't make a trip just for this. There'd be some trade goods and stuff. So let's yeah, rifling let's, around a little bit there. Let's see how much stuff you get. Roll randomly for some junk. Um, okay, there is uh, there's a small lock box uh, with a hundred gold in it. Now, ah. um, you find. Some miscellaneous like smithing stuff that he wanted to sell to the monastery. So like um, you know, like finely crafted, but not that expensive, like uh gardening tools, like rakes and hoes and stuff. Are you um, writing this down, Deb? A pewter yeah. urn. I mean, these are things you can't just carry off with you though. Like yeah. it's a it's a shovel and like a, they're gardening implements. Um the pewter urn you could take, it'd be worth about five gold, but it's, it's like large and heavy. Pewter's not um Yeah. Yeah. I leave that. Um but we'll take <sighs> gold out of the box um all right so we'll take the gold um and then i guess berg you'll carry gideon again and we need to find some place to rest for because we're like super exhausted after running all that way doing two battles nearly dying and we, we, we have to find a place to do a long rest yeah, what are exactly like? What what kind of woods are these? Are they pretty dense? Or yes, every all the woods in the Shulin Valley, like it's it. There's no there's no like big river running through it, so it's not a great place for logging. So the the trees tend to run quite dense, except <clears> on the road where the, the roots have been hacked away. Um, the uh, <laughs> chat pointed out that if you take the pewter, you might run into someone who used to make things out of soft metals. Maybe they would like that urn. That's true. Um, Maybe. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, the, the woods here are quite, quite dense. Um, they're not like big, tall, like redwoods, but the, the forest here, you could hide in them relatively easily. They're also hard to make camp in because they're all so like gnarled together. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But are caves common in this area or um, not in, not in this part. Like if you were to travel, you know, three or four hours uh, north, you, you would hit the, um, you hit the, the northern edge of the Shulin Valley, which is the kind of cliff face where the monastery is. And there, there, you'd be able to find a cave out there somewhere. Right. But I mean, you know, caves tend to already be occupied by things that live in caves. Yeah. Berg, I think we should. We need rest. Get on this a, road. We, yeah, we need to get as far away from this right here as we can get. Agreed. And not towards the town because they're right, but like a hornet's nest over there right now after what we did. Yep. Also agreed. All right. <laughs> You take you take Gideon, and I'm taking the cart driver because I owe this man a funeral after what happened. I'm gonna give him a burial, but we need to you head owe out. Owe more than that. Yes, I owe him. We owe him 
way more than that, but this is the least I can do for now. You owe us more than that. Mocking the gods, summoning this blight. Fool, they call me dumb. And then he walks over to Gideon and goes to work. Yep. At least I don't, least I don't smell. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, my good. <laughs> Touche. Um, okay, cool. All right, so they carry you, you carry the bodies and you just like head off into the woods just to find head, somewhere, to, head somewhere off, to camp out down the road of ways of at first and then off into the woods to try to find somewhere to rest. All right, uh, make a uh, make a survival uh check uh to find a, a safe place. All right, 11. <clears throat> okay, so middling, um. Yeah, I think you you head out uh, into the uh, into the woods. Um, it's probably like near dawn uh, now. Um, so as you as you settle in, you find like a little like area where a copse of trees kind of breaks open, and there's some some flat ground. You can set out your your bed rows, you know, bed rolls and stuff. It's been about an hour. Uh, you you set down the the unconscious body of your friend and the dead body of this uh, blacksmith killed by a servant of the Mara. And uh, yeah, the sun is starting to come up over the valley and burn off that that mist so it's all it's all kind of like still foggy and uh yeah and you want to settle in here and try to take a a long rest yeah i think first for gideon to wake up i will take that hour that we're waiting (laughs) for gideon to wake up to give this man a proper funeral um and do the sending of sending of his spirit to the sun where yeah perfect time for it yeah yeah dawn's a dawn's a great time for a funeral so Okay. Yeah. So as the as the sun's first rays uh, touch down on the body, um, I guess you're you're kind of like alone, right? Like as Berg is setting up camp and stuff. What uh, is the funeral performed with the same sort of a reverence that that uh, Ramus does everything, or is or do we see something a different side of Ramus uh, when this, you're alone? This is Ramus saw this man as innocent, and he he felt he feels really guilty of that. He's ruined this man's life. He. The, the, his house was burnt down and then because of his trying to trick him he caused his death and it just really sinks deep inside of him and he he's feeling really bad and he's doing the best he can to give him the proper funeral that he the best he can and did all mm. that's all his t's and dots of the eyes cool um, yeah so there's yeah. The, the the funeral involves like you have um you have like a an incense like sensor it's like a brass ball you put incense in and you like swing it you see it in like any catholic like ritual it's in the shape of a sun um so you like walk the circle around him waving it um and at one point you have to anoint his uh anoint his forehead with like sacred oil and you like crouch down and, and go to put your thumb on his forehead and um, his his eyes snap open, and it's the like burning orbs. And he lunges for you, and he like grabs you around the throat. You can feel him like squeezing your your windpipe, and you're like, gasping, trying to breathe. And suddenly your friends are gone. Like you, you try to look around, and no one's around to save you. You're just like out in the woods alone. And, and he looks at you, um, and uh, and he just says like he opens his mouth and he says, "Hell is coming." And then you you snap awake, and it's like several hours later, like while you're resting, like it's right before you rest. You like snap up, and you're all like sweaty and breathing hard. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like your turn for watch. So you like, you know, you got it. I thought you just killed me. I was like, Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, we just, we just jumped ahead. You, you okay. had fallen asleep. You were dreaming this. <laughs> you did this okay. yeah. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> you're good. Yeah. You, you snap awake and you're like, like hard. Deep breath. Um, so yeah, Gideon, you, you wake up before the rest. You do, everybody gets the advantage of the full, the full rest. Uh, let me hand out some experience points. Uh, Berg, it's gonna level up. Yay! Uh, okay, so according to my calculations, um, the uh, let's see, calculator here. Oh uh, yeah, full HP. Got some inspiration. Yeah, you're back to back to full. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Max. Yes. You got a roll for that HP? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Hang nah, on. bro. I'm just saying you could get. Uh, you can't. I can't do it. I've been burned too many roll times. Roll twelve, man. <laughs> you you could get twelve plus. Uh, and what do I get with the average? Seven. That sounds good. You can get seven, or you could get thirteen if you roll well. Barbarians are the, sw- the swingiest of uh, of everybody. So <clears throat> let's see. Nah, man. Nah. 
Chat's saying you don't have any balls, Max. I'm just relaying that. Hey, fuck you, all right? I've done this. Yeah, I have yeah. balls. I've done it multiple times. I've gotten fucked every time. All right. So everybody gets uh, divided by three. Uh, you get 159 experience. It's not bad. 159. We got a what? 159. 159. 159. That's enough to level up. Skyrim. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about level two, Barbarian. Um, you get you you get Dan and uh, Dan and JP. You, you actually like, get really strong at level two. Yeah. So I'm at one. If we take a minute to walk through it. Oh yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can probably call the episode right here, to be honest. Um, Once you talk to him. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll and then we'll stop because uh, you're all. It would make perfect sense if a fucking you know Earth Wizard decided to show up in the middle of the forest. Yeah, he's out. He's out picking mushrooms or smoking. Yeah. Meat. Yeah. Okay. All right. So at, at this level, have you decided you're going to take the the seven plus your constitution modifier? Are you going to roll? You got to choose, Max. What are we doing here? Ah! <laughs> the decision, fucking decision, twenty sixteen. You thought it was for president? It's for fucking your HP. <laughs> God damn it, America! Will you choose to roll for your hit points? I get seven HP guaranteed. Uh, what's your constitution modifier? Constitution it's, uh, plus one. Three. Oh, yeah, plus one, sorry. Plus one, okay. So you'll get either eight or between two and 13. Oh, it's eight? Oh, okay. I get eight? It's, it's seven plus the one for constitution modifier. Or you roll a d12 and add one, so. Nah, I'm just going to take the eight. Fuck that, that's stupid. I'm at 13 HP. <laughs> okay, so you get eight You get eight hit points. Could have 26. Hell yeah. You could have 26. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> All right, you're gonna get you're gonna get two new abilities, I think. Yeah, you get uh, reckless Wait, attack. Hold on, hold on, let me let me put this down, guys. We, we have a key race alert update. Max is a pussy. Uh, back <laughs> to you, Dan and Adam. Fuck you, I rolled. Uh, I rolled every time before I got burnt. <laughs> so I'm reading. I'm reading I'm here in my report. I, I, I swore. Yeah. Dan, can you go ahead and take us to the map and zoom in on that county of Max yeah. is a pussy? <laughs> Max is Max is a giant wiener. Can we can we discuss? <laughs> 50% of the audience says he's a uh, Hold on a second. Power reports are coming in saying Max. <laughs> fuck you. The polls, the polls are in. It says right here by 14 points. Max is a wiener. <laughs> All right, wiener. Oh, uh, you're going to get two, two new abilities. Uh, you get reckless attack. Uh, reckless attack means uh, when you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to do so recklessly. It gives you advantage on melee weapon attacks using uh, strength during this turn. But okay. attack rolls against you also have advantage. Yeah. Um, so that's cool because it gives you uh, normally when you rage you get just a damage bonus. This this is like free inspiration whenever you attack uh, on your turn if you want. Super opens, strong. It opens you opens you up to being attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, and then danger sense. Uh, this is the one that's that one. Uh, this is the one that Zephyr got earlier and, and got to use a bunch of times. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects you can see. Um, and. Uh, yeah, and that'll allow you to uh, to avoid. Um, what would I have rolled, by the way? Just let's just let's just see what what the roll would have been. D twelve plus one. one yeah, one D twelve uh, plus one. <clears throat> one D twelve plus one. Watch it be a god tier roll. <laughs> oh, I would have loved it so much if you fucking um, rolled that. Wow! Holy ah. shit! <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. Nice, nice work. Uh, cool. All right. So uh, if you want to read more about that stuff, it's on page 48, Player's Handbook. You get Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. All right. So as long as you can see the thing that is dangerous, you get advantage on dexterity saves against it, and then you can throw yourself at an enemy to get advantage on an attack, but then you get they, they get a dis they get advantage against you for a turn. Yeah. I'll probably be circling back and having you remind me what those things are or look them up yeah. myself. I just yeah, no, it's okay. Right now. It, yep. Uh, and now you need, uh, what, 900 experience to get to level three? Yep. Uh, is that what it is, 900? Yeah, yeah but you, you don't start at one, you start at three. Yeah, you don't go back to zero, obviously. You, you keep the XP you have. Yeah, I'm at 142 of 900. No, you should be at like... No, no, you're at 300 and something of 900. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you keep, oh, yeah, you keep... You keep, the, keep okay. all your XP, uh, and then you... Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So then you're at 442. Plus 300. Yeah, it's 442, 442. You're right. Yeah. We did good. That was Sick. a lot of XP earned today. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you consider uh, the the entire, literally, it was one fight after another the entire. Yeah, 
You rolled from one fight into another fight into another fight. Also, XP, yeah. as each thing was like its own batch of XP. So. Do we? Uh, we're in the middle of the forest right now, right? Mm -hmm. Do we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you're you're out in the forest. Yeah. And the mission objective was to take this back to the city once we got our fucking colors. Yeah. Yes. He he told you go into go and fix your mistake, you idiot. Same one we fucked up, or no different one. Um, no, 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 different one. You different have, yeah, you have you, you have the one that the one that came with you that you you made the you didn't make that mistake twice, and then you got the new one and, and you got it back. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I think that between now and the next story, we're just walking back to this the town. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you've got a choice here, right? Because you can either say like, "Cool, we got it. Let's go back and and be good little whipping boys," or you can be like, "Fuck this and fuck that guy," and try to make an escape, right? Like. Keep in mind that just because we set up the campaign one way, it doesn't mean it has to be that way forever. Yeah, but we've, we've got these gauntlets, man. We're going back to them. We're going to fucking turn this shit in, get a new assignment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really think he's going to take yeah. them off? Yeah, he better. Well, no, that's, I mean, the, the mission wasn't come back and do this, I'll take them off. It was no. someday in the future, I will free you. Yeah. yeah. If that day ever comes. <laughs> yeah, if that day comes. We don't know if it's going to come. That's true. I don't know I'm going to Steven Seagal on you. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <That's> <laughs> Yeah, we took Janice's uh, bracelet. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah, you got both. Tell me something. How long do you want to be a whipping boy? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out next episode. Uh, also, day nine will be joining us on Tuesday, so look forward to that. Uh, should just be normal time at 3 o'clock Eastern, but we got to do some shout outs. No. Is it 3 o'clock Eastern? Is that normal? Yeah, 3 o'clock Eastern. Really play? Uh, 4 o'clock Eastern? I don't know. Is it 4? I think it's 3 o'clock Eastern. I don't know what the fuck time is. Let me look. It's... Uh, one to four one, Pacific. One o'clock in my time. So it's, <clears throat> it's four o'clock Eastern. Yeah. Oh, uh, the yeah, 15th? 15th? Yeah. 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 Sick. Cool. Let's do some shout outs. Uh, then we'll go record our post episode recap. Uh, Dan, start us off. Uh, hi, I'm Dan's Gaming. I've yeah, already there he is right there. You can see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Dan's Shadow. Yeah. Dark uh, Gaming. I got a really dark tan. You can't see me right now. Uh, but I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, Here we just fix all this. everything. Everything in mine is slash Dan's Gaming. Uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch. Uh, thank you for having me on the show, JP. I love D and D every week. It's my favorite part of the week. Uh, thank you, Adam, for nearly ruthlessly killing us three times today. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, uh, Cassie. Thank you for being here and just being an awesome character. I love Berg. He's fun to play with. And uh, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Boom. I don't know why I said that. Gassy, let's see if your uh, webcam is set up. Ooh. It is. Do some Hi. shout outs. I am Berg. Um, all right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Super fun. Uh, I missed being on the show that we hadn't had a show for a long while. And I was like, when the fuck are we going to have one? But it was, it was nice to come back. Always love playing Berg. It's fun to play a dumbass. It's not too far off from what I actually am. So, yeah, always fun. Always fun playing with you guys. Adam, thanks again for another session, even though you tried so hard to fucking kill Berg. Couldn't fucking do it. <laughs> taunt the shit out of you forever because apparently that works. Mm -hmm. He did miss like yeah. 40 yeah. times in a row. This we're going to talk like, about that in the post episode for sure. Yeah, yeah we'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, twitch.tv slash Gassy Mexican, YouTube, Gassy Mexican, everything. Just look it up, Gassy Mexican. Uh, I am going to be streaming a lot more. I was I went through a period of like not being able to because the ISP here in Florida. I am in Florida. Uh, sucked, but it seems like it's resolved. Tomorrow we'll probably get into some like Dishonored 2 or whatever. If you guys want to see any of that, keep an eye on my Twitter. Sounds good. Adam, do some shout outs, sir. I would love to. Uh, it feels like it's been a thousand years since we got to play, and I'm really glad that we're back. So that is cool. Um, I'm going to go over to JP's community website, community.itmejp.com, and I'm going to click publish on this Q&A post. There it goes. All right. So if you have questions about the episode or just want to yell at me about shit, uh, that's the place to do it. Um, otherwise, you can find me at uh, Skinny Ghost on Twitter, twitch.tv slash Adam Coble. Um, I am going to spend tomorrow setting up my new PC. And then after that, it's going to be games all the time. So give me a follow if you like. Uh, otherwise, I will see you back here on Tuesday for more Court of Swords. Fantastic. Don't forget, uh, on December 17th, we'll be doing Court of Swords yes. live. Uh, about 20 feet that way. Uh, yeah. And I've ordered a bunch of stuff. Actually, are those things? Where did I put them? We've guess, got, uh, we've also got, we got uh, one shot stuff coming up, right? We got masks. Yeah. yeah mask is coming up towards the end of the year or towards the yeah. end of the month. Uh, yeah, we're going to do another episode of masks. So if you, uh, if you want, now's the time to go check out that previous uh, episode, get caught up on all the characters. Yeah. 
we've got a lot of lot of stuff that we're we're putting in the room and i gotta go get a tv frame tomorrow because we're gonna put a tv on the fucking desk yeah, the live show's going to be dope. I'm yeah. super excited. And if one of you fuckers spills a goddamn drink, you're buying me a brand I'm, new I'm TV. I'm bringing my metal dice, and I'm going to roll them over the TV. You're Just signing like... literal contracts when you walk in the door. If you spill <laughs> something on this TV, you're buying me a new TV. Because I know you can all afford it. All right? Yeah. Every motherfucker that walks in can afford that TV. But I don't want to pay for it if you get water on it. So that's on the uh, 17th of December uh, 1 o'clock Eastern 8 hours Court of Swords and uh, Day 9 is going to be joining us for that like as well mm. I hope we all live I think we're going to talk about in the post episode recap but I think we're doing I pretty good watch the post episode I think we're doing pretty good that's going to do it for the episode thanks everyone for tuning in uh, we'll see you next time here on Court of Swords Tuesday at uh, 4 o'clock Eastern we're out bye bye <laughs>